Welcome to my channel. This is Kat Woodland herself. Introducing, drum roll please. What I hope to be a final chapter, the grand finale, if you will, of the compilation of this quandary we have, this conundrum. And most importantly, the men that are available, are they healthy? Do they exercise? Do they maintain a healthy weight? Do they have a healthy mind? Do they have relationships? You see? So my days are numbered. And at this point, the question becomes, is it worth it? And I think the answer is becoming more and more evident. The conundrum? And what if, what if there really are not any available men? Then what? So, well, then what? It's better to be with yourself than it is with a fucked up person. That's the bottom line. I had awful experiences online dating in my age group because those men are either using the platform of online dating apps as a way of getting easy sex on vulnerable women or they're just all trashy people on there. They're even worse than the people you had to escape from. And so I refuse to accept inferiority of being, in other words, I will not, I refuse to be in a relationship in which I'm abused. And that does not make me a bad person for being single. It's better to just work on yourself, be with who you are yourself. It's better to be with yourself than it is with a fucked up person. That's the bottom line. Where I'm taking myself and my audience is into the realm of our minds. We're gonna discover the principles of psychology. We're gonna talk about what's in our mind, like what's going on in our minds and how we can learn to change them and how we can learn to direct them. And that way, we design a life that we co-create with our creator rather than how this messed up society has told us we have to live it, which is you're not satisfied unless you have a partner. So that's really what it's all about for me. My intention is to become cleaner and clearer as time goes on, not the opposite. It's better to be with yourself than it is with a fucked up person. Wouldn't it be wise to recognize seasons and timing? That is time to find out what's in my head. You know, you process the trauma, you find out the narcissistic abuse, why things are the way they are. And then you process that grief, which could be an ongoing thing, but you don't want to stay there. Like what's next people? What's next? Whether you are still in a situation, marriage or otherwise, in which you are constantly subjected to a pathological narcissist, which we all know what those are. We have to pursue four things. Most narcissists don't know this because they're unaware of what they are, but we need control, fuel, character traits and residual benefits. I've been talking about how um, given thoughts that are confusing and conflicting, it, it lessens a person's will. Um, conception, beliefs, reasoning, perceptions of reality, production of movement. So oftentimes when a person goes through trauma or if they don't know what to do, they go into inertia, malaise, they stop moving. Some people sleep a lot. Don't be judging yourself. Those are all things that are happening. It's sort of like a fucking computer restarting. So yes, I'm in this wonderful place actually of healing and of recognizing where my uh, standards are and my willingness to be single, autonomously so, for the rest of my life, facing the music 
facing the music and the dance of life that I may be dancing by myself for the rest of it. I refuse to be in a relationship in which I'm abused. And that does not make me a bad person for being single. Because my intention is to become cleaner and clearer as time goes on, not the opposite. I'm now going on to the works of um, Walter Russell and the Universal One, as well as just the index outline alone of the book, The Principles of Psychology by um, William James. Starting off with um, the William James's uh, book, Principles of Psychology, published in 1890, but the writing began well before that. He was a man born into wealth, and because of that, he had the opportunity to travel, and because of that, he got to see things, and because of that, he saw things that he didn't want to see or wish that he did see, and it gave him his own existential crisis because he saw what was really happening. Be quiet and get a cat. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that now is not the time for me to be in partnership. And I did try. And the experience I had with online dating was a total fail in that I couldn't find anybody, but it was a total success in that I realized I didn't have the temperament to go through men who really were just wanting to have sex with you. And because I'm an empath and I can feel all those vibes, I'm just not going to go with it. So, bottom line... I'm living a different life now. I'm aligning myself to a different set of stars. And so I must surrender to a power greater than mine. I surrender my power to what my true blueprint is and was intended before, yes, it was derailed by a narcissistic partner. And so I'm going to live in the maybes. Maybe being single is exactly where I need to be. And maybe... It's the life designed just for me. And so that all of us who have had a difficult relationship with toxic um, partners, due to probably a tragic childhood of trauma and uh, basically conditional love, due to those things, we attracted what I call a trauma bond. And it's that jag that you get, which is the arousal jag that comes through having a familiar energetic pattern that comes through the partner. And in my case, it was a traditional love and how, excuse me, conditional love and how it was so familiar to the love I received from my mother, which was none until she made me cry and then she would give it to me because that meant she had power over me. And so men in my life have modeled that and so I was addicted to them. I take full responsibility. I've kicked the habit. And this is the new stuff I go walking in. put so much effort into a relationship. I spent so much energy into it 
that that's why I'm in this place of standstill. I have all this time. I have all this time. And so by becoming unaddicted to men, I have all this time to become the person I was meant to be. For some of us, we've had terrible relationships and had the misfortune of having them with narcissists. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life it is a fabulous day. And therefore to stay in that relationship would have been to my own demise. I've got plenty of videos on that, and that's not the point of this one. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life is a fabulous day. It's better to just work on yourself, be with who you are yourself. It's better to be with yourself than it is with a fucked up person. That's the bottom line. So yeah, another day of no um, irritant man in my life is a fabulous day. So learning how to look at life differently, learning how to be okay. I'm not missing anything. And then then to create your own life. So what does a cat do? A cat looks for ways to comfort themselves. What's not lovable about a cat that's loving life? You look at a cat and, and you go, oh, that's a happy cat. And it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. one of the things I've been having a um, thing with. I've been talking about how um, given thoughts that are confusing and conflicting, it, it lessens a person's will. Um, conception, beliefs, reasoning, perceptions of reality, production of movement. So oftentimes when a person goes through trauma or if they don't know what to do, they go into inertia, malaise, they stop moving. Some people sleep a lot. Don't be judging yourself. Those are all things that are happening. It's sort of like a fucking computer restarting. Uh, that's why I have this channel. Initially, uh, it was to maintain sanity. So I know that. I'm that 0.5005% that 
everyone talks about, I'm that true unicorn. And yes, I was a stripper to get my way through college, to boot. <laughs> yep. So, truth be known. All for now, join me, continue on my journey, subscribe, of course, and like this and share it. But more, most importantly, live the life you care to live, and you can share that too. What has turned your boat around? Huh? <laughs> I'm calling shit out when I see it. So, making this shape. Oh, oh, look, Illuminati. Illuminati. Oh. Not here.